McKenna Grace has worked with renowned actors and appeared in various films and TV shows and has achieved significant success in her career. She is best known for appearing in movies like Annabelle Comes Home, Captain Marvel, and Troop Zero, as well as shows such as The Handmaid's Tale, The Haunting of Hill House, and Designated Survivor. Her career continues to flourish as she demonstrates her versatility and skill in a wide range of roles and is considered a rising star in the industry. Here are 10 things you probably didn't know about McKenna Grace. Shirley Temple inspired her to start acting. McKenna Grace was born on June 25, 2006, in Grapevine, Texas. On her fifth birthday, she received a DVD collection of Shirley Temple movies from her great-grandparents. The gift turned out to be a life-changer for her. She told Collider, I wanted to be like Shirley Temple. I'd seen all of the Shirley Temple movies, and I wanted to be one of those kids on the Pee Wee Herman show. She went to her first acting audition while on vacation with her family in Los Angeles. After she landed her first recurring television role, her entire family relocated to Los Angeles. Her role in Gifted inspired her to join the Girl Scouts. After portraying a Girl Scout in Gifted, Grace received an invitation to join the organization from the Scouts themselves. Without hesitation, she eagerly accepted the offer. In March 2017, she officially became a member of the Greater Los Angeles chapter of the Girl Scouts. During a pinning ceremony, she expressed her long-standing desire to be a Girl Scout and pledged to be a sister to her fellow Scouts and work to make the world a better place. Although her film career has meant that she hasn't been able to participate in full-fledged troop activities, she loves the most iconic part of being a Girl Scout, cookies. In 2020, she told Screen Rant, I don't participate in a lot of the activities. I probably would only have the cookie-selling badge. I sell cookies whenever cookie season comes, but I'm working a lot, so I don't get to do a lot of the activities. But I do like selling cookies on set, and I get to sell a lot of them. She often plays the younger version of characters. Throughout her career, Grace has showcased her talent for bringing young versions of well-known characters to life. She played the young Tanya Harding in I, Tanya, young Abby Fisher in an episode of CSI, young Caroline Forbes in The Vampire Diaries, and young Emma Swan in Once Upon a Time. In 2018, she took on the roles of young Theodora Crane in The Haunting of Hill House and young Sabrina Spellman in Chilling Adventures of Sabrina. Additionally, in 2019, she portrayed young Carol Danvers in Captain Marvel. She learned how to ice skate for I, Tanya. Grace played young Tanya Harding in the film. To prepare for her role, she had to learn to ice skate. She told the Boston Globe, Physically, it was the most challenging role I've ever done before because I had to learn to ice skate, and I've never done ice skating before. I'd fall and I was all beaten up but I had to get up and keep trying. She has some serious musical talents. McKenna Grace has been quietly releasing pop-punk anthems since 2021. Her first single, Haunted House, was featured in the Ghostbusters Afterlife soundtrack. When asked, she explained that the song was written during a rough period of her life in the midst of the COVID-19 pandemic. She has since released three more non-album singles and an EP titled Bittersweet 16, all focusing on mental health, loss, and heartbreak. Her passion for music has always been a part of her life. She told Dork, I can't even remember a time now when I wasn't going to the studio all the time and writing music. I don't think there was a firm decision like, oh, I'm a musician now, because music has always been a part of my life. I've played the ukulele for five years now. It's something I've always enjoyed. I play the piano, and I've just started learning guitar. I've always been a musical person. I love singing and creating. She is an animal rights activist. She is a vegetarian and an animal rights activist. She has participated in several campaigns for animal rights and ethical treatment. In 2016, she appeared in a PETA PSA, raising awareness about the dangers of leaving pets in hot cars. By acting out the panic and distress that animals can experience in such situations, she conveyed the importance of responsible pet care. She further demonstrated her commitment to animal rights by visiting an animal sanctuary with PETA, showing her love and compassion for animals. She expressed her belief that animals should not be subjected to harm or cruelty. She was diagnosed with scoliosis at age 12. Grace has opened up about her experience with scoliosis, a condition where the spine curves sideways. Her father, an orthopedic surgeon, noticed her condition when she was 12 years old. Eventually, she had to wear a back brace for about 22 hours a day, which she initially tried to hide on set. 
As her condition worsened, it became harder to conceal and she began discussing it openly, especially during costume fittings. Once her spinal curvature exceeded 45 degrees, surgery became necessary to prevent further progression and potential organ impact. The operation was successful, reducing the curvature to 6 degrees. She told an Emmy, For the first time in my life, my hips are even and my body is straight. And I gained 2 inches. My surgeon Dr. Skaggs was incredible. I have a scar down my back now, which I was really nervous about, but he made it look straight and clean, so I'm super happy with that. She loves horror movies. Grace has expressed her love for horror movies, citing The Shining as her all-time favorite. When she starred in Annabelle Comes Home, she joked that she grew up with her own haunted doll, which had once been her mother's. She told Nocturnal, Jenny, that was my mom's doll from whenever she was a little girl. Oh goodness gracious, it is frightening. It's like our own little Annabelle who lives in our garage. She had a scary experience on the set of Annabelle Comes Home. Playing the character of Judy Warren, the daughter of paranormal investigators, in the horror movie Annabelle Comes Home, Grace had a scary experience on set. She told Cinema Blend, On one of the first days, I came and looked at the house that they built on set. We were doing our rehearsal and my nose was pouring blood all of a sudden. The lights were off because they had to reset something and I was like, there's blood. And then, as soon as I stepped outside to go to the restroom to get a tissue, it stopped. It was creepy. But then we had the set blessing, so everything is good now. She is a huge Minecraft fan. Despite being a world-famous film and television star, she is also a teenager who shares a love for the popular game Minecraft. In her free time, she enjoys watching YouTube videos of people playing the game with favorite creators like Wilbur Soot, Tommy and Knit, and Dream. She even expressed her excitement when Dream followed her back on Instagram, posting a TikTok video capturing her shock and joy. Her passion for Minecraft is evident in her bedroom, which is adorned with Minecraft gear, including bed sheets, trinkets, and furniture featuring the game's iconic bee. She even celebrated her 16th birthday with a Minecraft theme. Despite her fame, her genuine love for the game sometimes surprises people as it may not be what they expect from a Hollywood star.